Hello and welcome to my video walkthrough of Junior Adventurer. When starting up the game, the player is greeted by these three buttons. Quit game will exit the game. The options menu provides players to change the screen resolution of their game, as well as the music and sound effects used within the level. The start game will start the first level. When the player loads into the game, they're greeted with a cutscene. This is used to inform them of the story of the game. Players are able to skip this cutscene using the tab key. These are travel logs. They are used to inform players of how to move about in the game as well as other mechanics and obstacles they'll face. To close the travel log, you press the Q key. Travel logs can also be revisited by entering the options menu in the pause menu. The rest are unlocked by collecting them throughout the level. To move about the level, use the AD keys to move left and right, the W key to move up or spacebar. Use the enter key to charge up a shot for firing. These orbs will be stored in your inventory. You can have a maximum of five at once. These are used to regain health if they are lost. These are respawn points. It records your last location, so if I was to fall off the map now, it would bring me back to the location. The pile of rocks up there is the ammo. When players overlap with them, the ammo counter increases. So now my character is able to shoot. This is the first type of enemy. When overlap, when you run into the enemy, a portion of your health is lost. Health can be regained by pressing one on the keyboard, which takes away the spark from your inventory. In order to defeat the enemy, you must shoot them from the back using the stones collected. These are moving platforms. You have to time your jump or else you may fall off the map. This is an arrow dispenser. It rapidly fires arrows. In order to avoid the arrows, the player must either find themselves behind the pillar or jump to avoid the arrows. I have now unlocked the stopwatch. The stopwatch is used to slow down time within the game to allow players to maneuver more easily. The stopwatch only lasts 10 seconds and the player must wait 20 seconds for it to recharge as indicated in the inventory. The yellow square on the platform above is a spike trap. If the player does not get off the platform within a certain amount of time they will lose health. This is the end of the level, however a key is required in order to exit, so I must venture back to look for it. Notice I cannot pick up the orb as I had hit a maximum of 5. When using an orb, I can now pick them up. This is the key. When I begin to overlap I will pick it up. I must now venture back to the door. Now when I enter the door, it will open. And this will be the end of the level. From here, the player can see how long the game took to complete, how many lives they ended up with by the end, how many sparks of life they had remaining, and how much ammo they had remaining in their inventory. From here the player can either restart the level or go back to the main menu. If the player was to die again when they have no more lives left, they will be greeted with a game over screen. From here they can either choose to go back to the main menu or to continue by restarting the level. Thank you for watching my video walkthrough of Junior Adventurer.